Hello, I'm Mark Amowich, and today I'm going to uh, tell you a few things about Vroid you may or may not know. <clears throat> um, the first thing about Vroid you may or may not know is that the male models were an afterthought. They have always intended and put the most work in female models, which is why male models will export with an additional expression, but you cannot actually access it. Because Vroid doesn't like guys, I guess. <laughs> um, another thing you should know is you see this white light around the edge here? This white light? One of the telltale signs of a Vroid model? You can turn that off. You can go over to General Editor here, and you go over to Rim Lighting, and you can just turn that right off. And then you don't have a backlight anymore. Which overall uh, makes your model look better because that backlighting was the dumbest thing they could ever put in there. Another thing that you may or may not know about Vroid is that you can adjust the parameters like BAM. But let's say, oh, you know, that's pretty big, but I want it bigger. Well, you see how it says 1 over here? You can just easily go over here and type in 2. And then you get bigger bazongas. In fact, why stop at 2? Let's go to 20. Is this what you want in your Vroid model? Because this is what you can get in your Vroid model. And this works on almost every slider. The only sliders those don't work on are the bone sliders. So we can go over to close, and let's go to a long sleeve. Oh, let's say it's this width, you know, go to, go to 500. You got some big old bell sleeves now. You want that skirt longer? Well, oh, it only goes there? <laughs> Not with this. It goes wherever the fuck you want it to go, because you can do whatever. And, and it doesn't just work in one direction, either. You can do this in reverse as well. So let's say you can go negative 50. Oh, it's shorter. 500? Well, okay, now we broke the program. But that's fine. You can fix it. Bam. Now you got a shorter skirt. Ooh la la. One of the things you should know is that they don't really do gradient transparencies too well. But you can erase clothes and stuff. We're gonna put this back just because we don't need to like anger the Vroid gods anymore that we are going to. Did you know that if you come over here into your textures, you can right click and export your textures so you can work on them outside. In fact, these grids you see here. You can export those grids too. In fact, I have an entire folder of just those grids. Amazing. Did you know that there is a camera editor over here? And did you know that in this camera editor, you can turn on these little things. Roar! Roar! But, you should know when you export them, these fangs won't be there. However, you can turn these on using Unity and Blend Shapes. And I have a tutorial on that. Because of course I do. Did you know that there is this thing called Post Effects and you can do interesting effects with this? In fact, there's this anti-aliasing, which I always suggest to put on high before you take any photos of your model. It just looks better. Look at that. It just looks better. You can also make your model look a little bit like a comic book with this. It's not going to export this way. This is mostly just for taking pictures inside. Oh look, and now you have a manga character. Ooh-wee. Hot damn. And over here, you'll take a picture. And it shows you the white, this big border here, that's the size of your picture. But you can make it bigger and wider. 
or smaller. You can choose. It also has ways that you can pose for, you know, thumbnails and whatever. Did you know you can upload directly to the hub from here? You'll need to sign in, but you can just select particular models and information and just upload it directly from here. I don't do that though because I don't know. Did you know? Over here you can make a new hair color or a hair material by hitting duplicate and then you can select the new one and then you can change it. And now you have multiples. Yeah. Also, did you know you can't delete these because Vroid's not very efficient. Also, did you know you can save your file by going to file and save? You can save your character that way, so you don't have to just export it and hope for the best. Did you know you cannot switch characters while Vroid is open? You have to actually physically close the program out, or you can just open a new instance. Vroid's kind of okay with that. You just can't jump between the two, because Vroid. Also, did you know you can switch the language up in this corner between Japanese and English? Is that useful to you? Maybe. But I feel if you're watching this in English, then maybe not so much. Uh, did you know... That if you want the ears to disappear, your best bet is to take this smallness and bring it down as far as possible. In fact, you can even just type in that 5 right there so it just flattens in. So that way if you want to cover it over with hair so you can't even see it, that's the way to do it. Also, did you know that this hair, base hair, you can just turn it off and then you don't have it anymore. Also, this base hair is not editable. You can do it in Unity, but you cannot do it in Vroid Studios. You are just shit out of luck if that's the case. Uh, and did you know if you want to change the socks on the body, you have to just draw it directly on the body. Because, of course you do. Draw a swirly on her knee. That's part of her sock, really. Shh, don't tell anyone. So socks, underwears, and bras, and gloves are all drawn directly on the body temp uh, texture. Did you know you can adjust the shading from the shading bar? And if you want to get rid of it completely, you have to bring the hardness all the way up and the width all the way down. If you leave it even just a little bit, it'll show up somewhere. Did you know they recently added this thing where you can adjust the spring bones of the alpha and the boobles? Yeah, they say body, but what they really mean is the boobles. So if you turn it up... You got more waggle jaggle. Now we can turn it all the way down. And now you have almost no waggle jaggle. Look at that. They knew that you wanted more jaggle and then boobles. In fact, they know that you wanted more boobles and then boobles. Just be careful, you don't want to whack yourself in the face like this girl is doing because, my god, that is a monstrosity now, isn't it? Yeah, you can just stop right now. You're gonna hurt yourself. Stop. Did you know that you can export your file by hitting this export button here and then you have to hit this button right here? You can't just click it and hope for the best. You have to hit this export button there. Fill out the settings. Usually you just need your name, author, and uh, version, and then just hit OK. And you save the VRM file somewhere here. Don't forget, you can save your file up here. Don't forget, you can save your file up here. Yes, you can. And there are two ways to quit the program. You can go to File and Quit, or you can just hit this X button. And you really want to quit? Why, well, yes. Yes, I do. Those are the five things you didn't know about Vroid. Were there more than five? Probably. Were there less than five? There could be. I don't know. I didn't actually count them. This is kind of a slapdash tutorial because I really don't know what to make a tutorial on anymore because I feel like I've touched on all of it in one tutorial or another. I'm just asked the same questions over and over from people who don't want to go look at those other tutorials. But anyways, here we are. And if this has helped you in any way, if you learned something new, uh, give the video a like. And if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments, but I probably won't answer them on this particular video because this was a really dumb fucking video. Uh, but I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.